All right, so I made it, and I see my lens isn't open all the way, but we're up river a little bit further, uh, probably about a thousand yards. There's a major boulder bar on the other side of the river where when I, I've showed it to you guys before, but when Irene came through, this is a straight stretch right here, pretty much. So water just ripped through there. There's an old river channel. It used to be the old. There's one over here, too. I'll give you a look around in a minute here. I've got Hung over there poking around in the boulders, and it's really, really bony. Um, I'm going to check around right here. I just found some bedrock on this side that connects in with the bedrock over there. And there's some pretty nice looking gravels right here. So I'm going to take a look at this, give you a look around in a second. Okay, so here's the river now, today, and as I said, there's an old channel directly over there that kind of went straight, but now the river veers around and goes down and around like this. But in here, we can clearly see an old river channel that ripped through who knows how many years ago. All right, in here. All the way through here, it used to come down through. And in this area, uh, mainly, I haven't seen any over here because I haven't scouted around in these woods. But on the other side, down in there, there's all kinds of old workings. And the trees are fairly young. There's some older trees in here. I see some pretty big pine trees. But a lot of the other trees are young in here as well. I mean, that could just simply mean, you know, this, this was all charged river, so there wasn't any tree growth. But, I mean, all the boulders around here, they're all, this is all old river rock. Every bit of it. So now let's take a walk down, and I'll show you where I've got hung. And the boulder field, as I like to call it. Some monster boulders. I've showed those in my video before. Videos. There's Hung over there. And that's the uh, spot when Irene came through. That's where the trees bottled up right there. That's the old channel that went down through there. Geological, geological survey maps show that to be an ancient channel. I don't have access to those maps, but I know a geologist that does. And I've had him look into this area. So she's over there picking around. It's really hard digging, but I know there's going to be gold in them boulders. And I'm going to do some stuff up in here and check and see. like to uh, test some of this debris stuff when the water was higher and comes through here. A lot of sand and silt, but good indicator. Alright, so I'm going to get set up and see if I can run some material. certainly beautiful out here this time of year but it's depressing because pretty soon I'll be sitting at home well I'll be working but not here catch you in a bit right then so I was just over there that's that bedrock and showing you up in the woods over in there but I just scouted up and right up here I don't know if you can see through the trees where the rapids are. That's the tailing end of an inside bend. And right there on this side of the river, there's some absolutely delicious looking bedrock that's all breaking up. So I'm scouting up in the woods to see if I can get hung up here. 
I'll show it to you when I get there. All right, so I'm gonna have to go up and around. I don't think Hung's gonna be able to do this, but it's right over there on the other side of this, and it's all just breaking out. And look at this here. It's kind of deep, probably about four and a half feet right now. Big boulder right there. Looks like quite the crevice in there. Interesting. But I gotta get over there and look at this. Okay. Tailing end of an inside bend. That's where I just was. And look at this. Yeehaw! Look at that oxidization. Man. This looks pretty tasty to me. Got all these big crevices. All these are stacked right on top of each other. Stack, stack, stack. Nice pocket. Oh yeah. I'm liking this. I don't know how easy it's going to be for Hung to get here. There is a nice deer path up there. And it was pretty easy coming down right here too. We'll see. Alright, so I just hiked back up out of there. That has great potential. And nice deer path that comes right up through here. I'm on it right now. So those of you who know me know that this time of year I'll spend some of it scouting. So that's what I'm doing today, sort of. However, I do want to get a setup somewhere and run some material and get a little bit of gold, I hope. I did get four or five pieces back there and I didn't bring my snuffer bottle. I left it back with Hung in my five gallon bucket. So feeling kind of guilty leaving her behind so I'm headed back there now maybe we'll head back down to our usual spot at the fault zone and get a setup who knows so we'll see in a little bit okay so I made it back down Hung is just out of sight below the embankment there on the edge of the river that's that deep hole with the huge bedrock falling down pinned upon each other and where the trees bottled up and the water rushed across and etched it all out. But anyway, this is another old river channel down through here. There's like three or four, maybe five. So if I could ever get in here with a recirculating system, boy, I'll tell you what, go to town. All right, so I'm gonna make my way back down there where we usually work at the fault zone, get a setup, and try to get me some gold for the day. I don't believe for one second that this spot is played out, so I'm gonna work it. A little shot to uh, shout out to Eminem Prospecting. He asked me last night in the comment, "How hot can you run them?" Well, that's not as hot as the video. I told you, well in the, uh, the advertisement video, it was running a lot, quite a bit hotter than it is right now. So let's see what we can do. Alright, so I've worked this down quite a bit and I just decided to pull out some broken bedrock and pan it back just to get an idea and you 
you see it? <laughs> I was standing over there and I could see it. Two pieces in there. That's nice and chunky. Another one up here. So, that tells me that the bigger gold's still dropping out in here. And of course, that's a big help. Not directly behind it, but further forward. And that's where I'm at. So, I'll keep working this. One of the major downfalls of fall. Please. Of course, this is the third time. Down inside there in front of that tube, there's a leaf plugging the tube. So that's another downfall about fluid beds during autumn. But here's where Green Mountain Gold Trap rises above the rest, and now you can actually see that there's something there. So what I've got to do is pull my capture tray and dump it in there with the rest of the other stuff. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so after battling with leaves, I was getting a little frustrated. <laughs> I had to pull the capture tray like five, six times. So I just, each time I, I put it in my five gallon bucket and then when I was ready to pull it for the last time before I did I ran what was in the bucket so basically like like Dingus and Eva says concentrate your concentrate so I ran it through and did a final clean out I'm probably not done I might just do some panning but it's not bad for maybe two hours of digging that's not too bad nothing real big but I did get that bigger piece out of there so I might I might do a little bit of cracking over in here and see what I can come up with just panning but I'm just just kind of getting sick and tired of every time I turn around there's another leaf inside the scoop blocking off one of the tubes and it's not like you can put a screen across there because <laughs> It wouldn't take long, that would be completely covered with leaves, so that's that's not gonna work. So that's just, you know, that's what you deal with with a fluid bed. I don't care what one you have. But if it's not clear, you don't know if there's a tube down in there. You can't see if there's a, a leaf inside your tube, which I've had that happen. And it just gets right in there and it curls around on the bottom and plugs off three or four of the tube, the holes. You, you can tell with this you know so anyway um, if I find anything significant I'll let you know well, I don't know if anybody remembers what that looked like before but there was another great big slab in there and a bunch of small pieces in front of it and it went right inside so I got a bunch of material out of there and of course it's getting dark so I kind of just went through it quickly because Hung, she has a hard time seeing in the dark, and it's it's darker in the woods. So, um, got about 15, 20 pieces out of there, maybe. Nothing too significant. And like I said, we're kind of beating feet to get out of here. So, another day, good time, as always. So, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Hit that bell for notifications. Take care, everybody.
What's up, YFRC members? Got a question for you just to check and see if you're awake. How many YFRC members do we currently have? Just checking. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.